The European Parliament's Inquiry Committee on Car Emission Tests wants to clarify whether European and national authorities were involved in Volkswagen scandal. They also want to break down the influence of car manufacturers in the regulatory system. The Belgian socialist Kathleen Van Brent was appointed as the chair of the 45 members committee. The French Green Karim Adeli, elected as one of the vice chair, outlined that the committee's number one priority will be to investigate whether the Commission and the member states were aware about the use of defeat devices before the news on the cheating of German car producer Volkswagen broke on September 18. Nous, il faut qu'on sache qui est responsable, qui savait quoi et pourquoi nous n'avons rien fait. Donc le but de la commission d'enquête, c'est un, d'auditionner l'ensemble des acteurs, donc les lanceurs d'alerte, les experts de l'automobile, les constructeurs automobiles, mais aussi les États et la commission européenne. Donc tout le monde va être auditionné. Le but de cette commission d'enquête, un, de renforcer la transparence. However, the European People's Party centre-right group warned that the inquiry on car emissions must not become a witch hunt. Currently, European Parliament and Member States are discussing new rules proposed by the Commission on testing emissions under real driving conditions, known as real driving emission tests. These reviewed FDA tests still have their limits, explained Jürgen Resch from a German environmental NGO. For instance, there are no clear rules for the future to avoid cheating. Fast accelerations of fully charged vehicles are still not taken into account, he explained. During a briefing in the Parliament, Vicente Franco, a Spanish engineer from the International Council on Clean Transportation, outlined that the diesel problem is more an EU problem rather than an American one. In comparison with the EU's testing regime, the US has a central authority that has the oversight on car emissions tests. The way how the EU enforces the law is not consistent, explained the engineer. The access to public information is definitely better in the US. It's possible to see what after treatment systems each car has. This is something that we do not know in Europe. It's possible to know where it is type approved. This is something that we ignore in Europe. All of the necessary data to repeat the certification test is available in the US, whereas it's lacking in Europe. The inquiry committee will investigate during one year and will submit an interim report within six months.